Hello, my name is Therese Curry, and I am a breast cancer survivor and huge advocate for young women with breast cancer. I have joined the first Breast Cancer in Young Women Foundation in the U.S. and globally with a singular focus on core issues, awareness, advanced research, and advocacy faced by younger women with breast cancer. In 2018, at just 31 years old, I found a lump on my own and was dismissed by a reputable doctor who told me the lump was a fibroadenoma, a benign tumor very common in women in their 30s. I trusted my gut and got a second opinion, which led to the devastating news that I had stage two invasive ductal carcinoma breast cancer. Having no family history and being so young, this was a complete shock. As a newlywed, I had to go through fertility preservation before starting chemotherapy. I had six rounds of chemotherapy followed by a bilateral mastectomy with reconstruction surgery. I had antibody infusions every three weeks for a year and completed two years on a hormone therapy medication, tamoxifen. With the support of my doctors, I was able to conceive my daughter, Abigail Hope, naturally. I am now back on tamoxifen and will be for years to come. I have met countless women who have become dear friends of mine, all who were diagnosed in their 20s and 30s. Their diagnoses vary, some who are metastatic and still fighting this horrible disease. Cases of breast cancer in young women, usually defined as 40 years old and less, have been increasing in the United States and worldwide. This poses a threat to these women's lives, but also raises unique personal, social, and medical challenges compared to women developing breast cancer later in life. Breast cancer in young women tends to be more aggressive and diagnosed at later stages. This could be due to many reasons, including current screening guidelines generally excluding younger women without a family history of reproductive cancers. Limited awareness among younger women because many young women believe it's a disease of older women. Some young women find it equally challenging to persuade their doctors for thorough checkups instead of dismissing their concerns because of their age. This also adds up to losing time to detect this disease early. This, as I mentioned, happened to me. As a large majority of young women with breast cancer have no family history or carry predisposed genes, including myself, it remains unclear why young women are getting breast cancer. We need more science about the underlying reasons. We do not have the tools to predict who among the healthy women will get breast cancer and why. And a different approach to thoroughly addressing breast cancer in young women and the foundation has a roadmap to follow. After listening to the accounts of practicing oncologist colleagues describing their young patients with breast cancer, asking why me, the founder Rakesh Kumar and his team realized these young women could be their daughters or granddaughters at some future date and were inspired to create a comprehensive platform focusing solely on this age group. The foundation's goals are to lower the incidence of breast cancer in young women and improve the quality of life and the chance of cure for those who develop the disease. The newly launched foundation's mission is to save the lives of young women from breast cancer by raising awareness that it's not a disease of older women, facilitating the early detection and treatment of breast cancer, funding advanced research that directly benefits young patients, and addressing the quality of life issues post-treatment, which will build a future free of breast cancer for young women. The foundation's vision is to create a reality in which the death of a young woman from breast cancer becomes a rare event. The foundation is organized and run by an international team of pioneering breast cancer medical oncologists, 
surgeons, scientists, advocates, caring family members, and experts in promoting community awareness of breast cancer in young women. The foundation introduced a new pink-purple logo to fully capture issues specific to young women compared to women later in life. The pink-purple ribbon was designed to honor the fight of the young women facing the disease and to empower others with knowledge to detect the disease at an early age. To completely capture the experiences and determination of these younger women to beat the disease, we added the silhouette of a woman gracefully flying to represent her journey through breast cancer and her fight to get back on the other side. The foundation will be funding research which will directly benefit the younger women with breast cancer. The foundation has created an international platform to connect young women with breast cancer with those diagnosed with and defeated their breast cancer. The foundation brings out several resources for younger women, including a comprehensive educational awareness flyer in 13 international languages. As of today, the Breast Cancer in Young Women Foundation is collaborating with non-governmental organizations and a team of global ambassadors for 14 countries. Bilingual survivor life stories in six major international languages English, Spanish, Hindi, Hebrew, Portuguese, and Japanese. In addition, the foundation spotlighted caring family members as survivors who beat their breast cancer and those who lost their loved ones to the disease way too soon. The purpose of the foundation is not only to help survivors like myself and newly diagnosed young women, but also to protect the lives of healthy young women from breast cancer by providing them the tools. I invite you to visit the foundation website to speak to younger women in your family and circle and reach out to the fun foundation to share your story or receive information to support the foundation and to be a part of defeating breast cancer in young women. Thank you.